Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 minutes of play in action. <laughs> okay, now I want to go flying this weekend, so I did some work to the old 16. I want flats, doggone it. And uh, all these. Uh, Jet Legend and, and Skymaster's big F-16, they tell you not to use flap rods. If you do, uh, turn them to another mode when you land where it's just tails, and I don't want to mess with none of that. They say, you know, flap or elevons and flaps is fine. Uh, a lot of F-16s I've seen fly like that with no ailerons whatsoever or flaps. Uh, Philip Avon spider jets. Uh, Tomcat ain't got no ailerons. Uh, but I want flaps, man. Don't keep landing down a little bit. Man, I tell you what, I had the hardest time getting these flaps adjusted. It took me all dang evening. Okay, we got these tightened up. They're still loose in there. I just stuck them on so see them bouncing, that's why. See, then I got my flat. I had a heck of a time getting them things adjusted. Wow. They, uh, you know, wanted to come down faster than the other. At half flap, one would be down that much, the other would be down that much. At full flap, they'd be a little bit of the opposite. Man, I had a heck of a time getting them things adjusted. Ooh, my hand looks so red. And the color just, I don't think this little camera does real well in low light situations like this. That's why the colors are off. I tried to adjust it a little bit this morning. I got it in the brightest part of the garage. But that's what I'm going to try. Okay. And then my flaps. See, I got the flaps adjusted at half flap, they're the same. Full flap, they're the same. I also had a problem with, you know, one wanting to come down faster than the other. Man, if my servos would have been facing the right direction, I would have just put a Y harness on it. <laughs> that sure is a lot easier. But I'm gonna go try this tomorrow. I wanna try it before I get the Kentucky Jet, so I won't get out there and look stupid. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna try there. See how that works. What do y'all think? I want flaps, man, and they uh come they warn you not to use flap rods, so I don't think they get enough deflection when you're landing. That's what I think it is. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I sure don't want to plow this thing in. So <laughs> I'm going to try the flap rods. But I got to do one more thing before I put this back on it. You know, I take something apart like that. I always put the screws in the baggie so I don't lose them. I gotta take this dang turbine out one more time. It'll take but a second. When we was in Arizona, I actually uh, had to replace an airline. Okay. Put the swing get out of the way. Um, but I had to replace the airline. And I didn't take the turbine out when I did it. I want to put some metal tape over that airline. That reflects heat, you know. It's just kind of long, and if I go inverted, it might tend to want to flop against that pipe.
faint. About a minute to pull that dude out of there. Okay. Okay. I just got to back it up. I don't have to pull it all the way out. So get my big old hand in there. But I got my molds all prepped for my last set of flaps. I gotta prime them yet. It's still morning. But I gotta get them primed. So I'm gonna get that last set of flaps out today. That probably would have been alright, but. Better safe than sorry. This is just that aluminum tape, you know? That shiny surface reflects heat to a certain degree, you know? But mainly I want to keep it from just that air line from flopping in there. I want to get that height. is ready for action. Yep, back up there where it goes. Okay, well, get this bad boy back in there, we're going to call it good. I think we're going to just go run out to Afton Saturday morning and get some flying in. Bam! Done deal. Put in my wing spar brace. I'm ready to go.
Well, it goes there. There, tighten them up. I'm ready to go. Ooh, another three hour download. <laughs> All right, people, I'm gonna get on in parts this afternoon. I might make a couple videos, kind of depends on how long this takes to load. But we will see you back in the shop.